Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of The Last Faith. Last time we left off, we were over here at the gates of Erlim, because we went through that little swampy area and managed to make our way over here. So let's see what else we can get into in this general area. Oh, hey, it's you. A prudent moment. Power. My vengeance grows near. I can almost taste it. Take heed. You must be cautious in your pursuit of such power. Take no strength. It is a strength that belongs to me. All my own. I am the definition of such might. My heart is lightened. Receiver of a great gift. A precious one. Yeah, we gotta go back to this dork that breathes deeply in between like every two words. Let me help you. No, no. It is my time. My turn. My power to manipulate as I wish. Okay. Let me help you. No. Okay. Maybe we can do something to assist you here, but you seem kind of obsessed with power at the moment. So I'm not really sure there's much I can do to help you there. And now you're gone. Okay. You don't think there was anything I could have done there to really assist you. So... Okay, I can't get back up there, actually. I can't get up there at all. So we need to... Yeah, we need to go do something down here. I was like, are there two paths forward here? No, there's just one. And it is this one. Yeah, 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 with your cute little... With your cute little splody things. You're very adorable. Okay, and here we are down here. Um... No? I don't want anything to do with these, like, little leeches or lamprey. What are, what are these? Okay, slithering worm. Well, that's something different. Okay, and you're kind of similar to that other thing that I fought that shoots out the tears. Glowing pest. Yeah, you certainly are a pest. I'll give you that. Your name is accurate. There we go. Good. What is, what is over here for me? Water well flowers. Amongst the unsightly ruins of Erlim, a beauty remains. Pale purple flowers whose roots entwine with the foundations of the city. Common symbol of respect and death for those who remain. Deeper into the foundations of Erlim below the water well, it is said inhuman whispers ripple. Whispers of a person or creature, no one knows. What is this? Should I mark this? It looks kind of important, but it might just be because of that. Oh, I'll put one just in case, but... I don't know, yeah, it's kind of just where I got the thingy from, so... But whatever, we'll... We'll leave it there just in case. Just in case. Actually, wasn't I putting something else to mark those? Wasn't I putting, like, this? Or something? I'm gonna assume it's not important. A token used to mourn the dead. Yeah, whoop. Alright, so, yeah, because, I, I don't know. It, it seems like it was just the item, because the, the, all those flowers were around it. I mean, there's also a ton of items over here, too. Oh, God. Hi. Ow. Okay, bye. Oh, you do just jump back out of the water if you do that, though. Uh-huh. Me out of here. God, that's annoying. You're invincible for so many of those frames when you're coming out. Stop it! Jesus! <laughs> you're invincible for so many frames when you're jumping out of the water and landing and you're kind of just swinging all around you. God, fuck off, ornate swordsman. Not like you. Yep, and it seems like I'm going to be dealing with a lot of you. Okay. 
Eat this. Uh huh. God, you just swing all around you. Die. Yeah, that enemy's annoying. Woof. An annoying one to deal with. Oh my god, and they're everywhere here. Mm hmm. There we go. At least I could kind of kill you that one easily. Whew. Yeah, they just jump in and out of the water. That's a neat gimmick, though. That they can that they can actually go in a place you you can't. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill you like this, if you don't mind. Still alive. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like, geez, this thing can take some hits. Uh, hi. Nope. Okay. I didn't know you were going to have another shot, another stab there. I was like, okay, I tanked the first two stabs. I think I'm good, but no, you had a few more. I find myself wanting like a shield some sort. Bang, bang, there we go. Oof. I was like, that didn't stun you. I thought I was gonna die super badly. <sighs> okay. So can I not go up any higher from here? Uh-oh. Where do I go from here? Let's see, because... Like, you're sitting up there, but... There's no actual way for me to get up higher from this position. No. Huh. What does it want me to do here, then? Because clearly I need to be able to get up there. I don't see a good way to do it unless I can stand on this. Oh my god, I can. Not stand, but I can climb across it. Oh. I thought I would jump off of it, but you just kind of fall when you press A. Alright. So, yeah, okay. I I thought that was a background element. We have not seen a chain that we can traverse before. That I recall. So that's new. Cool, though. Alright, so... we. Yeah, and then when I... Do that. There we go. Uh, nope. Go ahead and shoot again, please. That's the one you have the longest wind up on, so it makes it easier to fight you. There you go. Okay, and that's where I started. Over there, so we need to go this way now. God, this is a very vertical room. Ah. And this is that door that gets me back to my checkpoint, which I desperately need because I had to use a lot of my healing items there. We got bopped. Okay. Well then. And there's another one of the shoot bang dorks over here. Yeah. There you are. But yeah, as long as you just jump the projectile, it takes them forever to kind of, uh... Ow! God, you go so far with that. It takes them forever to reload and shoot again, so... We are getting a lot of Nycrux here. Uh-huh. Nope, you're not doing that to me. Not this time. No. Bad. I would like a spear, though, if you have one. Preferably, like, a mind-scaling spear, if, if, we could, if we could work that out. I would love that, please. Oh, hi. You are an unwelcome shadow. And you look super cool. The forbidden power overwhelms by its own unique means. One that can never be relinquished by the person, no matter their will. You do not have the right to carry such a burden. Who has that right? No one. God, if this was an actual Castlevania game, I would say that's my character I can play in my New Game Plus run. Or if it was like, you know... Uh, bloodstained. <laughs> I would say the same. Uh, okay, so there's something I need to be able to jump higher to grab right there. 
another of the same thing right here. Okay. Cool. What's in here? Oh, great. Yeah, that's exactly what you want to hear when you walk in. <laughs> that's just what you want to hear. Yeah, they don't even give, like, anything. No Nycrux. I don't think these pots even give me anything either, so I'm not getting my steady supply of, uh, free healing items and stuff anymore. Okay, more of that over there. What's down here? Hi? You're an NPC. The maskless one approaches. Come, let me take a good look at you. You look like you could be a witch. I sense hesitation in you. My appearance disturbs you. A little. <laughs> I have seen horrors greater than what is before me. That I understand, for it has grown dark around these parts. The joy slowly ebbs away. There was a time when we would dance, frolic together in harmony. But for some, that joy would never be enough. Their pursuit of perfection and immortality snuffed out what we already held dear. We danced through days and nights, through purple flowers. A delicate yet hardy construction, stone and wood dependent on them. A comforting crib on which to rest your head. What is this place? A ruin. Twisted and mangled into a writhing beast. The grotesque beast of corruption. But beauty dwelt here once. It is, isn't, it is interesting that you mentioned the purple flowers, because yeah, I have some of those. Do you want some? Indeed. I remember it more vividly than ever. And the dancing. The masked balls I organized were legendary. Would you perhaps consider another? To whom am I favoring? The Lady Annika. She desires to dance once more. You're the character I was getting. I, I was like, when you started mentioning dancing, I was like, oh, you know, maybe, but <laughs> not what I expected. Hey, you want to dance with this monstrosity? I believe she would require a grant. One where the beauty of the dance will appear on all walls. A unique place where even one dancer would make a room seem filled. Mm -hmm. I believe she would require... Okay, so we need, a, we need a really, really good venue. Nova Astromo note number one. To see beyond the truth, reality must be discarded and shadow embraced. Two small windows into that truth must be sought. Okay, well, 3,000 Nycrox. Okay, well, I definitely gotta add a marker for you, since you're the dance partner for Annika. Uh, oh, I thought I could stand on that and maybe hit that wall, but no. That's not a spot you can actually stand. Uh, do I want to go up first? I feel like lower is probably better to go to first. Uh-huh. At least you're very, very easy to kill. Thank you. Your attacks do a ton of damage, but you're not that bad to kill. Get out of there. There we go. That was the easiest one of those I've had to beat yet. Oh, hey, and you had some heirloom tears for me. Gotcha, 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 and gotcha. Ow. Spawned in and got me. There we go. Whew. Thank you, magic. You have good range too, so even if I'm not close enough to get all the all the hits out of it, it's still very, very effective. Yeah, we don't we're not getting uh heals or anything from these pots. These pots just break and drop nothing. Um, hi. Another NPC already, huh? Enter. We 
will not harm you. Oh god, you're creepy. Hi. You should not be here alone. I lead a solitary life. We are quite content. You are not content. You have concocted a plan, but you are unsure of it. It requires modification. I think Eric thinks this is a child, but this is clearly something else considering they keep saying we and there's multiple voices going on here. We all change. From young to old. Day to day. Year to year. Past to present. But change is preferable to being lost, is it not? You are not lost. What have you lost? My beloved toys and games. It has been a long while since I have experienced joy from them. Where? That is where I require assistance. I do not have an inkling. Will you help? Did you find my toy? I will mm, do without. No, I did not find your toys. Okay, um... Here you are. I'll go ahead and just leave that on the, uh, the map there for you. So we have two NPCs right here, that close to each other, that we just need to talk to, huh? Alrighty. I will work on it. We'll see what we can do. Alright, so... back up... back up here... and... yeah. So now we actually go to the left. Uh... Please don't be a boss. Oh god. Okay. Okay. You don't have a lot of HP though. Ooh, slowed you though. Uh huh. Yeah, you like that ice idiot? Okay, yeah, you have a lot of the same shit that I do. Ooh, okay. Take this opportunity to heal. Uh-huh. I have one of those too. Owie. Ow! No. The burning sucks. The burning really, really sucks. But I don't have a good way to get rid of it right now. Because I don't have that item on, and I didn't know I'd be getting inflicted with this. God, the fact that it stops you from doing anything sucks ass. You can get knocked out of your heal and everything. That is terrible. <laughs> okay, just always have those on, I guess. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna- I'm gonna try and cheese this. You just healed on me? Oh my god. Uh... Okay. Baby heals. Mm-hmm. Okay. Magic. Oh. Eat shit. <laughs> yeah, I just had to pull out my items. Screw you. <laughs> you cheesed me with that burn effect. I had to cheese you with my shit. Oh. Yeah, that burn was annoying because I, I, I don't think I have the things equipped currently that would cure it. So I was kind of just screwed and had to deal with the status effect. So I was just running around doing all of that, but then I was like, okay, well fine, if you're gonna use items, I'm gonna use items, and I just restored my mana and annihilated you. Dopiera. These newly designed hardy weapons are used as a last resort in the lands of Illigarth. The desolation of these areas meant that firearms technology had to develop quickly through starborn innovation. Extra barrel was added to ensure the wielder always had a second shot, but it soon became practice to fire both at once for a single lethal volley. Yeah, get- get wrecked, idiot. Okay, so what is this? Big damage, heavy ranged. Does... 80 more damage, scales better with instinct, and costs two demi-oxide bullets instead of one. 
I do actually like that a lot. I do actually like that a lot. It's about time we got another weapon. So what does it look like is the question. Oh, does it actually have limited range though? It does. Okay, big damage but limited range. That is a trade-off because I actually like using my um, pistol to take out enemies that are annoying that are far away. Like annoying enemies that are far away, so... Yeah, that would be that would that would be something to deal with, I think. I mean, we'll see though. It does seem like it does a lot of damage, which is nice, but um, I feel like just keeping my distance more so would be the would be the better thing to do. So, let's see what's up here. Another has succumbed to the volition of Nycrux and struggles to find peace in their heart. The one who is still mourned for needs to be found. Mirror Shard. Vanity was lost on the creator of this shard, now a necessity. For the traveler that discovers such a treasure shall see as the forger did and travel as such. Whispers of a vengeful entity hidden deep below. The force they detected curses and disturbs the naked eye. The rooms of their haunt a maze of glass. Okay, so you had, a, you had something possessing your mirror. Okay, well there is something up there. I just need to be able to jump higher. To reach it. I did not mean to put that down, but I did mean to put that down. Oh, wait, wrong place. No, never mind. That was the. Yeah, okay, it was snapping to that. That's the character down there that wants the toys. Okay. Um. Well, back to Ox Neville. Ox Neville. Okay. Um. Yep, tell her about Erlim. Hey, we got a, we know a place. I have found someone who will grant your wish near the city of Erlum. A masked ball in your honor. Eric, I never thought I would dance again. Your candor and determination have made my dreams come true. I hope this doesn't get you killed. Like, this character will just kill you and I needed to wait until I found somebody else. Oh. Leave? Okay, like... So I told you I had I had somebody lined up, but okay. So you'll sell me a few things here. So I could level this thing up, and it does seem like it would be very very good if I did so. Um, I do need more moon silver though. Is the only problem. But this seems like the boss the boss annihilator weapon. If that's what I want to go for. Whereas the Nightbane pistol has like a little bit of, uh, you know, quality of life to it. Um, this just does more damage straight up and just costs twice as much, twice as many bullets. It also has higher crit damage, which is nice too. And it, you know, it scales better. So let's see how much the scaling actually makes a difference on that. So we get plus 22 there, plus 16 here. And it's not even been upgraded yet. That's... That's just the scaling, the difference in the descaling there, so... Interesting. Interesting. I am, uh, sort of interested in using a cool shotgun. Missing piece of a broken mirror. There's ten of those, apparently. Okay, well that's definitely something to consider, I feel. Hmm. Because I could buy some moon silver from you just right now rather than wait about wait to find some of my own um, Let's see and then I could level up my instinct a little To 28 Which would not increase the damage of my my main weapon, but Yeah Okay, hmm so I could get mine to 30 all right, yeah, you know what, let's go, let's go upgrade this a wee bit, I think. The shotgun. It seems cool, and it seems like it'll do, you know, just, just big damage. I guess, though, the, the main thing, though, is it doesn't really do, it has less range, and it doesn't really do that much more damage than a pistol. Like... It costs twice as many bullets, and yeah, it does do higher crit damage, but... Yeah, hmm. I'll hold off on it for now, I think. 
I think I think I'm gonna hold off on it for now. Just because I'm not positive I wanna use it. Um, and I'm not positive it would be worth it either, if I'm going to be honest. Um, that being said, I don't really know what else to put my points into besides just health or just getting more focus. Um, that's not a lot of extra HP. I, I, don't, I don't feel like that'll make enough of a difference to really be worthwhile. I mean, I guess if I put all four of my levels into it, that's an okay amount of extra health. Might save me at some point. But also just getting more focus means I can spam that one thing more. And it just increases the damage of my base weapon. Also makes me incredibly resistant to dark. I mean... This amount of Nycrux, even though it looks like a lot, it's really not that bad, because I could get this much by grinding for like 10 minutes if I really wanted to, so it's not like I'm really wasting anything here. Um, but I think given that I don't really know what else to go with, I'm just going to go with HP, because that's just the safer bet. You can't ever really mess up going HP. Just makes you tankier. So I think I'm good with that. And yeah, the shotgun is interesting, I just don't know if it's worthwhile, because, yeah, it's two times as much damage for twice the amount of bullets, basically, but the lack of range is what really sucks to me. That's the unfortunate bit, because one of the most useful things about the pistol is the fact that the bullet travels across the screen, whereas this seems like it does not. So definitely like a boss killer weapon, and I would maybe use that in a boss fight over the pistol, but that's, that's, that's about it. So, I don't know. Indecisive when it comes to these things, but I think that's probably a good call for right now. Just play it safe, upgrade my HP, and all that. But my magic definitely did wonders for me in that fight, I gotta say. Just the ability to sit there and kind of freeze the enemy. Phenomenal. Still really wish I had another charm or another stigma. I feel like we're getting way too few of those, you know? <laughs> we're not getting nearly enough of them, but whatever. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time for some more.